Hello my fertility friends, I'm Anne and in this video I talk about ovulation pain. And the big question, is ovulation pain a sure sign of ovulation? And of course all about the ovulation pain and how to get pregnant with this sign of fertility. Okay, now the first big question. How can you recognize your ovulation pain? The feeling of an ovulation pain can be really different. For example, it can be a regular feeling of heaviness in the pelvic area. Or it can be a feeling of pressure around perineum. Or pain in the back or lower stomach that can last several days. Some women also experience ovulation pain in the right or left side of the belly that feel similar to menstrual cramps. It's interesting to note that according to current studies, some women even experience it as radiating pains in their back and legs. On the other hand, many women don't experience ovulation pain at all or only experience it in some cycles. Now the next question. How long does ovulation pain last? According to a survey of over 100 women, ovulation pain can last for as little as a few seconds or as long as a few days at a time. Approximately a third of women experience ovulation pain for only a few hours during the cycle. In contrast, 40% experience ovulation pain for at least one day during their cycles. In about 17% of the women, ovulation pain varied in length during different cycles. And now the big question, is ovulation pain a sure sign of ovulation? The answer is no, the ovulation pain is not a sure sign of ovulation. In this picture you can see the results of the studies and you can see the ovulation pain can be 9 days before the real ovulation or 4 days after the real ovulation. And only in a few cycles there's really the same day with ovulation pain when really the ovulation was. That's the reason why I prefer use the cervical mucus and the basal body temperature or determine your fertile days in your cycle. And the ovulation pain is only an additional symptom from your cycle. So when you see stretchy cervical mucus, maybe, in your cycle, then you have also a ovulation pain on the same day. Then it's really a good sign for you that you can have sex and get pregnant, maybe, from this sex. Yeah? I mean, you have a good chance when you have sex on this day. And that's because... The sperm can live in your cervical mucus for many days, for three to five days maybe. And the ovulation pain and also the cervical mucus is some days before your ovulation. So you can say the cervical mucus and the ovulation pain together are the most important symptoms for you for your most fertile days. And Another interesting question is, how many women experience ovulation pain? In these pictures you can see only 30 to 40 percent of women notice ovulation pain during their cycles. And only 17 percent of these women have an ovulation pain in every cycle. However, you can say maybe Oh, an ovulation pain is only a rare physical symptom. But I think in this 
study, there was only women who didn't normally document their cycles. But when you ask women who document their cycles with symptothermal method, then maybe you have more women who feel the ovulation pain. And this fact you can see in this picture, it's in Surrey in a German forum of a fertility awareness method. There you can see about two-thirds of women who use the symptothermal method and also feel the ovulation pain. And now see, in contrast with the symptothermal method, with the body temperature and the cervical mucus, which can almost every woman could document in their cycle, then I choose, of course, this uh, for me to determine my fertile days to get pregnant. You can see, not all women have an ovulation pain in every cycle. I think that's clear now. So at the end, my view of ovulation pain. I think ovulation pain is one of the most important secondary symptoms of fertility. And if you use it with the really primary symptoms of cervical mucus and basal body temperature, then you have a really good overview about your cycles and you can see if you have an ovulation, you can see when you get pregnant without a pregnancy test, yes. And also you can see on your basic body temperature when is the birth of your baby. So I think it's a really good thing when you learn the symptothermal method to know more about your body and your cycles and when you are ovulate when you can get pregnant and so on. More information, watch this channel. Yes, and this was N and that's the end. <laughs>